Hi everyone, Chris from Synth Studio here, and today is going to be an unusual video. I'm going to show you a bit of a hack that I've ended up doing for as, as a stand slash case for my Polyan tracker. Let me show you a few angles just to see what exactly we're talking about. So you can see it's got some pretty strange geometry going on. So we've got, I think it's 10 different levels of uh, angle that you've got here. Lowest possible angle, we're talking about 25 degrees maybe. The highest angle, I would guess that looks to me 55, 60 degrees or so. It's very easy to do. The case is a case called the, the Zugu Alpha case. I found this case because I have a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. This case has been so great. I've been using it for my iPad. What I really want is kind of a permanently affixed case just like I have on my iPad, where it easily folds away flat, but where I can also easily angle it up when I'm ready to use it. And so I immediately thought of the case that was on my iPad, and then I took my tracker and I just set it on top of the face of my iPad, and I realized the footprints were almost identical. So what I did is I popped my iPad Pro out of the Zugu Alpha case, tried to see how well the Polyon Tracker would fit into it, and I was actually able to press it all the way in. This is the same exact case, but with the Tracker fit into it. Now how did I do that? How did I get to this point? This took quite a bit of effort. The main thing is that I ended up trimming some material here. So you can see this here where I just cut the corner and I just I cut out this entire sort of top lip. This is the place where on the iPad that top edge actually holds the Apple Pencil. So this is what that top edge looks like when it's not cut out. It's got this protruding top thing which holds the Apple Pencil into place. And then I also trimmed, because the tracker is a little bit wider than the case, like maybe a millimeter or two, I trimmed out these like little retainer bits of this edge just on the inside part. I trimmed those out just with an X-Acto knife all the way top to bottom. And then I just kind of notched in the corners because the corners on the tracker are not as rounded as they are on the iPad. And of course the iPad is much thinner than the tracker, so this spine is not thick enough to still wrap around, around the front of the tracker, as you can see, it just kind of stops there. Just for uh, some peace of mind, I put a little bit of uh, 3M VHB tape, just some tiny strips of it just around the edges on the inside of the case so that when I put the tracker into the case it is just sort of sucking, you know, it's stuck, it's, it's, it's not coming out. If I just only hold the tracker the case is sort of stuck to it. So I've made it sort of a semi-permanent setup uh, it's very good in practice. Uh, so the only other thing that's worth mentioning here is the battery. So I was using a 10,000 milliamp hour uh, anchor battery. It was just really bulky back here. I wanted to, since I was folding it back like this, I kind of just wanted it to be a little slimmer than it was when it was folded back. And also that a 10,000 amp hour battery is so overkill for this device. I've never once run down that whole battery using the tracker. There's just not enough hours in the day. So what I did was I looked around and I and I ended up um, settling on this much, much more compact Mophie Power Station Mini battery. You can see how much slimmer this thing is. I think it's 3000 milliamp hours. And then I just took a couple tiny strips of VHB tape as well to just stick that there in place. I'm using the same USB-A to USB-C cable that I was before. And this cable's been great. I've been using this now for several weeks as my main setup for the Polyon Tracker. This is how I uh, move my tracker around. 
And so I just keep it folded back and I put the deck saver cover on top. And, and this has turned out to be my favorite setup so far of a few different setups I've used that have a battery and a stand and some sort of protective cover. But I wanted to share this little hack. It's, um, I've written it up a little bit on my blog at synthstudio.art. I know I've missed something and I've just, I haven't scripted this. Obviously I just thought I would share this weird hack that I ended up doing that I felt worked out really well. I really appreciate you watching. I'm sure there's something I've missed. Um, if you have a question about this weird setup, please uh, ask down below in the comments. Um, until next time.